Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining. My name is Sandra Sigmund and I am the founder and owner of Le Fleur Floral Home Garden Store in New England, which is right close to Boston. So today I'm actually in my own garden here at my beautiful home. And what we are doing today is gathering some flowers to make a gorgeous centerpiece for Secrets of the Hostess. I'm so honored that they asked me to give you a little tour of my garden and what I'm going to be picking for an arrangement I'm going to be making for you in the next video. So I thought today what we would do is pick some things that I love to use as a floral designer. It doesn't necessarily have to be everything come from your garden, but I do like to add little touches and pieces that elevate my designs to inspire a more European French look. So I am French trained. I lived in France for 18 months and my afternoon hobby before and after work would be to visit all the gorgeous flower shops or fleuries as they say and a few of my favorites are on the left bank and maybe i will even share some of those with you so we're going to get started i have my vintage gathering basket and mike snip so we're gonna hopefully not disrupt the bees too much and i like to cut early in the morning or late afternoon. It's really the best. I try not to cut in the middle of the day. It's just too hot and flowers don't like to be disrupted in the middle of a hot day. So we're gonna just pick a few stems here and there and put it into our gathering basket. Look at this clematis. This clematis is just absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it's really taken off. So we're gonna tuck a few stems in here. And this is so pretty to use as foliage as well. So look at look how cute these are. So we'll cut a few of these stems to incorporate into our flower design. And these clematis are growing up one of a obelisk I have here in the garden because you do want a structure to hold it in place. Another thing I have which is really pretty is some of this purple sage. And again, I go and cut a few stems for my floral smells really nice. It's a nice, nice scent. So we'll cut a few of these as well. You don't need to cut that many, but I usually cut four, three to five stems. Oh, they're starting to shed a little bit, but we'll put this in here. Our little gathering basket. Okay, so these are one of my favorite things to grow. Yes, hydrangeas are gorgeous in any form, but these lovelies are just so beautiful. These are called lace cap hydrangeas, and they actually have this very delicate petal with almost this very textured little berry look to it. I love using these for all our weddings and events. They just elevate our design so, so much. Not that I don't love, like I said, a traditional hydrangea, which we do have a few over here. As you can see, those are a light pink, go to purple, and even a deeper blue. So those are lovely to use too, but these white ones, I think have a, a special place in my heart. So I love using these in our designs as well. So I'm gonna take all of these flowers and create a floral arrangement for you in our next video. thing I might go capture over here come follow along I don't know about you um, greenery and foliage for your centerpieces are always so hard to find so I love growing um, different types of ferns this is a painted fern and I might just grab a few stems of these as well and just um, snip these look at the textures of these too they just have such an interesting look and this hellebore is also really gorgeous too. I apologize, it's Corabelle, <laughs> I'm calling it Hellebore. Anyhow, this is also a lovely, lovely stem and texture to add to your centerpiece. It's one of my favorite. And also, it just has such a beautiful striation in it and the coloring is just gorgeous too. So don't um, overlook some of the beautiful foliage you can create in your centerpieces. So we're gonna take this along on our little floral journey as well. So again, thank you Secrets of Hostess and Garden Secrets for honoring me and having me here 
Um, I truly, truly am honored. So thank you so much and follow along. We're going to do another video soon.